10 stupidly expensive things that Odell Beckham Jr. owns. Oh man, big shout out to Rebound Football for the video about to react to. This is about to be interesting, bro. Now with Odell constantly trending and becoming the highest yep. paid wide receiver in the NFL. Yes, sir. It's only right he's cashing on more stupidly expensive items. Wait, what kind of car pounds. was that, bro? Now, recently this summer, Odell bought the most expensive pair of Chuck Taylors ever and what? didn't even flinch when he heard they cost five digits. Wait, what? I would have a pair of $20,000 Chuck Taylors. You can go anywhere online and find $20, a pair of shoes. $20,000 for... shoes? Them shoes are like, hey, I'm about to say these shoes are only $85. How did you go from $85 to spending freaking $20,000 on them, bro? But hey, if it's anybody that's going to spend a lot of money on stuff, it's OBJ. This guy literally wore a $300,000 watch in the middle of a football game, like twice. You know what I'm saying? So like, bro, that's what he does. And hey, he's him, so why not, bro? I respect it. For $85, but the world-renowned street artist who customized the shoes valued them at twenty thousand dollars. That's crazy. And as weird bro. as it sounds, the shoes consist of a normal pair of Chuck Taylors, twenty-four karat gold lace tips, and concrete. After being presented with concrete, the shoes, Odell actually spoke. Bro, this bro, you spent twenty thousand on concrete, bro. I could have made you that, bro. I, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I would have made you that and sold it to you for one, for for for, for eighty-six dollars, bro. Talk about this and That's said, crazy, bro. one day I'll have my own signature shoe. I'm gonna steal that on my Nike shoes. I'm gonna tell them to put concrete on my shoes. I don't think I've ever seen concrete on a shoe unless it was a construction boot. I couldn't imagine how you did that. Of course, with shoes so expensive, but the 20K? question is always, are you going to wear those? Which OBJ replied and said, Put them on, put them right back. Odell even talked about his sneaker obsession as a kid, saying, I've been a sneakerhead since I was little. I remember my daddy, like, that would be about the only thing that I'd be waiting on. I'm like, man, I know he's going to give me a new pair of J's and he would bust it. Give me a pair of J's, yeah. mom would do the same. It's that's all I'd ever ask for is shoes. That's real. I mean, if you grew up a sneakerhead, I understand, bro. So that's, that makes sense. Shoes. When I got a little older and the PlayStation or something came out, I just wanted to play games, I wanted to be outside, and I just wanted shoes. That's it. Yes, now, Kay, the designer who put together this masterpiece from an original everyday pair of shoes, even said that the customs are the most expensive chucks in the entire world. Now, obviously, spending $20,000 on just one pair of shoes could seem ridiculous. So it's only right that Odell returned the favor of doing something similar for others. Shortly after being traded this summer, Odell decided to help a high school team nearby that was coming back into existence for the first time since 2010. The official Browns Twitter even tweeted about this, saying, after their football program was dissolved in 2010, Cheney High School is officially back for the 2019 nice. season. And to help celebrate their return, OBJ surprised the whole team after practice Aww. with over 100 pairs of the See, Nike like Air Max 720s for like the high that. school football team. Yeah. And it cost them nearly $20,000 once again. Bro, so you, that's, that's, all right. First off, let's talk about the positive thing. That is so dope, bro. I love when freaking celebrities and stuff like that utilize their platform and, and the, the finances that they were blessed with to help others, bro. That school was literally out of business football-wise for nine years and then he blessed them with that so that's dope but do you see how his one pair of shoes cost twenty thousand, and then him giving a whole entire football team shoes also cost twenty thousand? you see how money works bro like like bro twenty thousand can go a long way or a short way depending on how you spend it it's just crazy bro that's wild man hey shout out to obj though this is the watch i was talking about by the way bro. this little watch right here that's like three hundred thousand dollars bro now back in august yep. of 2018 Told you. odell wasn't happy with just wristwatches and diamond chains so he decided to take a trip to the dentist to see if he could get diamonds surgically put into his own teeth surgically taking a trip to odell's jeweler to get specific diamond crosses he wanted he then headed to the dentist where the dentist said i got my ceramics to make a porcelain veneer that looked just like his tooth and then on that porcelain veneer i got a diamond cross made from odell's jeweler that he actually made on a 3d rendering that i printed and sent to his shop what although the two pieces only costed obj a little over five thousand dollars he physically can't remove the diamond cross from his teeth even if he ever decided to wow. but moving on to this season during the heavily anticipated crazy, debut bro. of odell on the brown so he has a tooth that has a diamond stuck in it that's like that's interesting what if you're eating though like imagine swallowing diamonds on accident that'd be a hard poop <laughs> OBJ shocked the world when he came into the stadium wearing a $350,000 Richard Milley yep, watch. told you. Now, Odell wasn't walking around flaunting it off or anything, but many people definitely started to quickly recognize it. Based yep. off the fact that not only was Odell wearing a watch during a professional football game, but also because of the watch's worth, which was over a quarter million dollars. Headlines instantly started going crazy with many fans and even NFL insiders commenting on the watch. Is Watchgate a big deal? Uh, probably gonna get fined by the NFL. How wearing yeah. that is not only against league policy, but also risky considering the price. Nobody's... Yeah, bro. So, yeah, he actually did get fined for that. Also, too, like you said, it is risky, bro. Why would you wear a Richard Mill on a football field? What if you get tackled and it breaks? Like, you have a warranty? I don't know, bro. I, I'm too broke for all this talk, bro. That's, that's just, that's out of my league right now, bro. I got to work my way up, bro. Man, hey, hey, five years from now, bro, hopefully I can do the same thing, bro. Go go to the, go to the YMCA and play basketball in a damn freaking skeleton AP or something. I'm really sure why Odell wore the watch, but he's been in certain controversy like this before with flashy jewelry, and that's exactly why Odell spoke publicly after the game talking about this, where he said... If anybody else would have worn the watch, if it was just a $20 watch, it wouldn't have been a problem. That's just my life. If it ain't this, it's something else. <laughs>
If it wasn't oh, the boy, watch, it would have been the way I tie my shoes. The watch is plastic, but people have knee braces that are hard and made out of metal. And you don't see them taping it up, no jewelry on, so I'm good. Now, the NFL itself oh, prohibits the use sense. of wearing hard objects, but doesn't prohibit wearing jewelry. And his watch fell into the hard objects category, which many argued could result in him receiving a fine. But throughout yeah. that game, Odell ended up only catching seven passes for 71 yards without a touchdown in their loss to the Titans, which yeah. many called a disappointing start to a promising Browns team. And Damn. Hall of Fame defensive tackle Warren Sapp even commented on the watch situation, saying, You can't wear a $350,000 watch and play like a $2 bill. Okay, that's not play. He didn't play bad. He had seven receptions for 71 yards. That's a that's a 10 yard per catch uh, average, bro. And he didn't score. I mean, it's not his fault. He played good. Seven. Seven percent for 71 yards isn't good? In what league is that not good? That's great to me. I don't know. Now, moving on to the very next game during week two against the Jets was a different story. Yeah. OBJ was returning to MetLife Stadium for the first time since being traded and he made his homecoming one to remember. After taking all the heat for wearing that watch during week one, yep. Odell came out during warmups wearing none other than a brand new Richard Milley that many professionals on the internet actually claimed was a one of 10 ever made. And this what? one actually cost Odell around 2.2 million. Oh my God, 2 million for this one? What's the difference? Just the color. Oh my gosh, bro. That's insane. Imagine just finding that on the floor, bro. That's insane. Thankfully, OBJ put it somewhere safe after Monday night warmups and didn't wear it on the field. But what That's he good. did was put on a show in his first game back in New York, making yet another impressive one-handed catch on the sidelines as well wow. as an 89 yard touchdown catch in the second half which wow. capped off six receptions for 161 yards damn now moving on to odell's multi-million dollar living situations when he's still part of the giants and lived right outside of new york city he bought yeah. a stunning hudson county home that boasted around 3500 square feet Ooh. across three levels this home included large private terraces and a special man cave that Odell made with a famous comfy couch that Odell said is undefeated in its powers to make you fall asleep. As mom actually talked about- That boy said he got a couch that's undefeated in its powers to make you fall asleep. That's that's lit right there, bro. That couch must be a lot of money. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I'm an adult now, so I done, I done run around and shot for couches. I swear to you, bro, and everything I love, I once saw a mattress for $70,000, bro. $70,000 mattress, bro. In a regular, it was like mattress firm. How the hell does a mattress cost that? I also see, I seen couches for like 80,000, beds for like freaking 200, like, what's the difference, bro? Like, do they make you fall asleep faster? Like, that's crazy, bro. The home saying, it's really, really comfortable the way he decorated it. On the top level of this massive home, Odell has a full floor master suite with an oversized walk-in steam shower that he says he can't ever give up. But the wow. shower in the master bedroom, I just, I can't give up. His mom even said, the kitchen is Oh, that's his mom. Everything in it. It's where people meet. It's where conversations are built. There's not a lot of traffic that doesn't stop at the kitchen. Now, most recently after news broke during the summer that Odell would be traded to Cleveland, many people, including Odell himself, wondered not only what's next, but also where would he buy his next pad. Yep. Ohio native LeBron James couldn't hold in his excitement on Instagram after hearing the trade news. Nice. He posted a picture. Oh, LeBron posted it. He said, oh, my just got real, 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 real. Go in the comments. Let me know if you think I can sing, bro, and be honest, bro. Of Odell in his new uniform with the caption, oh, my, it just got real. Among the 10,000 comments within hours on LeBron's picture, the one most notable is from Odell himself saying, let me hold the crib down, referring to LeBron's <laughs> one of the kind mansion in Ohio. What? Now with he said, let me have your house because LeBron plays for the Lakers, I think, bro. So, like, that makes sense. Like, let me, hey, let me have your crib, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. If I was LeBron, I would have rented it out to him. That's smart. Hey, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Passive income. Dell becoming legendary already. It's only right that his car collection quickly began matching his status. Okay, what do you got? DreamWorks Motorsports, which happens to be OBJ's go-to when it comes to car shopping and customization, yep. decided to revamp his Rolls Royce Wraith and surprise him with it outside of MetLife Stadium when he still played for the Giants. Okay, Wraith what is it? Wraith was all white and had rose gold accents, including the rims, trim, the logos. That's even the door handles. A bottom of the line Wraith wow. goes for right above $300,000. With the paint and customization on this, it's safe to say that the car ran Odell well over that. But right wow, before Odell was nice traded to the Browns, he decided to team up with DreamWorks Motorsports yet again to get them to build and customize a Mercedes-Benz CLG AMG for himself. All while customize a Damn, look, he got two cars that's like the same colors. That, yo, see, that's the thing. When you start getting too much money, it's like, bro, you live in life like GTA for real, bro. Like, you just do what you want. Like, bro, in GTA, literally all my cars are custom, bro. I have like 50 custom cars because somebody gave me a, a mod account back in like 2014 um and I, I think i had like 18 trillion dollars like unlimited money bro so i literally would buy everything i ever wanted and this is what i would do i would literally make all my cars like the same so that you're just bored because you got so much money that's literally how these guys are living bro that's insane bro that's that's a blessing right there bro hey let's get it man brand new ford f-250 to match his bets and he planned on gifting his dad for his birthday Felix produced both the truck and the car that's both hard the finishes with chrome red details everywhere damn the clgs run right under a hundred thousand dollars as well as thirty five thousand dollars hey go in the comments real quick bro hey 
really well 35,000 is not that bad but yo really quick check this out so this is my car guys and I want you guys to give me some advice and I want you to be honest like you know what I'm saying be solid so this is my car you guys can see you know what I'm saying it's a matte black oh it's a matte black Tesla you know what I'm saying I put the Batman logo on it you know what I'm saying purple accents and all that stuff so I'm trying to get a new car I'm wondering guys should I get a truck like look should I get a truck like this one right here you know what I'm saying or should I get a Tesla cyber truck bro or should I just keep the car I have go in the comments and let me know bro I think I really want a truck though I think I want more utility because my car is pretty small and you see how this truck is able to pull this whole entire trailer I want to be able to do stuff like that bro I just think it's super dope and um I don't know I think I think I want to become a truck guy man but I don't know if I want to test a cyber truck or a normal truck and when I do get the truck or the cyber truck I'm, I'm gonna decorate it again and make it instead of Batman I'm gonna do Incredible Hulk that junk gonna be hard tight yeah let's go the truck but this wasn't the first time that OBJ gifted a whip to someone close to him now back in August of last year also right before Odell was traded he decided to once again calls guys from DreamWorks to get them to customize a brand new Jeep Wrangler Unlimited for his sister for his 16th birthday which yes, they sir. actually painted That's all black buy your sister a car bro before delivering it to New Orleans where his sister lives, DreamWorks said in total they also added off-road tires, a custom interior with special logos in the headrests, an extremely dark tint to wrap up the birthday gift. That's and of course, hard. she loved it. Now, right before Super Bowl 53, Odell decided to surprise the women that he actually credits all of his success to with a brand new ride. Odell had it delivered to the stadium as a surprise, which oddly enough is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But Odell actually bought his mom a Mercedes-Benz G550. The video that the NFL posted was of the initial reaction that his mom had when she saw the bow wrap G-Class. That's fine. And then Odell hugged after she screamed out of joy when she seen a brand new Benz. But most recently, That's after fine. being traded to Cleveland during the offseason, OBJ decided this was actually the right step in his career and celebrated by purchasing a car like never seen before. Nice. And this happened to be a custom Cleveland Browns Rolls Royce, Royce worth 500,000. Odell took the Dreamworks Motorsports yet again to create this custom man. dream car. Then instead of the original logo on the hood, X is a replica of himself making the legendary one added cat no way. He's known for on the hood. OBJ actually posted a video on Instagram of it raising That's hard. And said, Picture me on the front of the roof like this. Appreciate you, family. DreamWorks Motorsports. Wow. Custom painted black rims and orange wrap around the car. Blacked out tinted windows. And of that course, a ridiculous sound system. Hard. With Odell revealing this car on social media, That's it quickly hard. went viral. With people like Quavo, 50 Cent, Lil Yachty, Kevin Durant, and even Kyle Kuzma quickly taking notice of this masterpiece. Ooh. Now subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Hey, that's hard right there, man. Hey, that was a good video, man. Hey, big shout out to my boy Rebound Football for showing love, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love the videos that he does, man. They're so cool to react to, bro. I just think it's like, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting, bro. I'm always learning something new. Go in the comments. Let me know if you guys agree. Uh, but yeah, man, hey, I appreciate the love and support so much. Let's go and take a look at the channel real quick. Do a health check. See how we're looking. You know I'm saying I got to do this after every single video. You know how we coming, bro. Boom, boom. Eli Mac reacts. 35.7K run roll to 40 thousand right now then we need 50k but you know what i'm saying we got a long way to go then we really want 100k but we got a long way to go. you don't want to see what's in this xbox don't do it nah what the, what the what the hell was that hello <laughs> What the heck was that? Did y'all hear that, bro? What the freak, bro? That was weird. I'm not even looking at a video. I'm looking at my channel. Wait, does it, does that happen when you guys look up Eli Mac reacts? Hold on, I'm gonna look up my channel again and see if that happens again. Eli Mac reacts. Oh, oh. All right, I just looked it up. You don't want to see what's in this Xbox. Huh? <laughs> what the freak, bro? Wait, so if you look up my channel, what the heck? Oh, I'm gonna do that again. That's crazy. Hold on, Eli Mac reacts. Okay, all right. Wait, let's see if that happens again. You don't want to see what's in this Xbox. What? Ah. what the freak, bro? Oh my God, bro. That's actually weird, bro. <laughs> Somebody go in the comments and explain to me. That must be a new YouTube update, bro. Let me see what happens when I look up, uh, I'm gonna look up like DDG's uh, YouTube channel. Cause that's one of my favorite YouTubers. Let's see what happens if it, all right, DDG's channel. Let's see if something pops up. What happens? Oh, I guess it's just my channel. Yeah, nothing's happening on DDG's channel. What the freak, bro? That's weird. Let me go back to my channel. Hold on, let me see if it happens again. Okay, let's see if it happens. You don't want to know what's in this Xbox, huh? What the heck, bro? Nah, bro, this is weird. What, yo, somebody, yo, go in the comments, bro. Does this happen to you when you look up my channel, bro? That's weird, bro. But, hey, hey, I love and appreciate the love and support, bro. Hey, this is weird. What the heck? Hey, make sure you guys always keep God first. Make sure you smash the like and that sub button, bro. We're on the road to 50K right now. Really 40. But then we go to 50, then 100. You know what I'm saying? Love you guys so much, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's your boy, Eli Mac. Gang, gang.